In today's episode, we will take a look at the Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light. We will look at its performance and features and we will announce a giveaway for one lucky winner that will get a Vipar Spectra XS1000 LED grow light. So stick around till the end to know the giveaway details. Now I review a lot of grow lights and this grow light was sent to me by the company. However, this is an honest review of this product and a way for you to get exclusive discounts should you proceed to buy it. So let's begin unboxing this product. The product came nicely packaged and on time. So let's see what the contents of the package are. This is the grow light. It's a pretty nice and large grow light. And these are all the accessories and cables that come with the grow light. Pretty standard but quite useful. And this is the actual grow light itself. So these are the cables that you use to hang the grow light. We then have the power cables. And these are standard light hangers that come with most grow lights. But all in all it covers everything that you need to set up your grow light. And once again here are all the accessories opened up. These are the grow light hangers, the power cable and the cables that you use to attach the grow light onto the hangers and the grow light itself. And this is a full spectrum LED and it's bright enough for most needs as you will soon see. And on the back you can see that the grow light also has a very nice heat sink. And let's go ahead and attach the four cables that are used to secure the grow light or using the light hangers. And these are extremely easy to install, they just snap right in to all the four corners. And these are very secure now, they will go either directly onto the hooks on the ceiling or onto the plant hangers if you want additional length. So this is our grow light setup. As you can see we have connected this grow light without using the light hangers directly onto the ceiling with some hooks. And this is the Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light and as you can see it covers quite a wide area and it also has a dimmer switch. It allows you to adjust the light intensity from 5% all the way to 100% and to test the performance of this grow light we have a container where we are going to be sowing some fenugreek seeds. And fenugreek is always a big challenge to grow especially in the hot summer months. So by using a grow light and growing it indoors, you can grow fenugreek very easily indoors. So we just sprinkle some seeds in rows here. And to grow fenugreek you can scatter them all around the container. But I just found that growing them in rows like these produce a lot better fenugreek greens than just scattering them around. However, you can't go wrong with either approach. The main objective here is to make sure that the fenugreek seeds get enough light to not only germinate and produce healthy shoots, but also grow well up to harvest. And we are going to lightly press the seeds in and make sure they are settled in. And once the seeds are in, you need to mess the seeds gently. This will ensure proper germination of all the seeds. So I just use a spray bottle and just mess the seeds gently on the top. And make sure that you're doing it for the entire container. And while doing that, if you see some seeds that have been dislodged or are not properly seated, you may just push them inside once again. and continue to mist the entire surface of the container. Now in just a few days you can see that the grow light has done its job of making sure that the seeds have germinated. You can see beautiful looking fenugreek greens and at this stage you need to water your fenugreek seedlings every day. You don't want to let them dry out. The grow light intensity is set to a little low right now and you can even go lower when the seeds are germinating but as soon as the leaves emerge you need to make sure that your grow light setting is set to at least 90% to 100% and make sure that you're watering each and every part of the container very thoroughly and not leaving out any dry areas 
and in a few more days you can see the fenugreek greens have been growing quite well. And the progress continues. You can see that they have been successfully growing under this Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light. And you can see the leaves are looking a lot better now. And I already had a lot of nutrients, compost, worm castings, etc. mixed into the potting mix. So I didn't really need to add any more nutrients or fertilizer to the soil. And fenugreek doesn't really need a lot of fertilizer. You can grow it in rich organic potting medium and it grows great. And you can see the leaves are now ready for harvest and we have begun harvesting the leaves. And you can see here beautiful looking fenugreek. Now you can let this grow a little taller but I've seen that this stage is the best stage to harvest fenugreek because they taste the best during this stage. They are not bitter, they have a very nice unique fenugreek flavor that you only get in fenugreek greens. And for those of you who are not very familiar with fenugreek greens, these greens are extremely easy to grow. You can buy your seeds at the grocery store. You can easily sow them, grow them indoors under grow lights or outdoors during the cooler months like spring and fall. Fenugreek doesn't really like a lot of heat so it's extremely difficult to grow it in the summer season. However, fenugreek is one vegetable or herb that you can grow in shade. It loves shade. So you can grow fenugreek in a shaded area in your garden if you're growing it outdoors. But for most people if you want clean looking greens like these, growing them indoors under a grow light is one of your best options. And overall the Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light has done a great job of making sure that these greens are looking really good, really healthy and it has provided enough light for these seedlings to grow into mature plants and produce these lovely greens. So all in all I was very happy with the performance of the Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light. It has a dimming feature which means you can control the amount of light that's coming onto your plants and it has all the accessories that you need to mount your grow light. And for the price it's actually a very decent deal. So check out the pricing using the links below and I'll provide some more links and coupon codes in the video description and the comments below as well. But all in all, you can't really go wrong with this grow light. It's a great quality grow light at an affordable price and something that will help you grow plants year round. And here's how a harvest looks like. As you can see here, beautiful looking fenugreek greens. In the giveaway today, all you really need to do is follow the instructions on your screen and complete these three tasks that you see on your screen to be eligible to be entered in the giveaway. And the winners of the giveaway will be announced in the next monthly episode. So there we have it folks, that was our episode on growing fenugreek greens using the Vipar Spectra XS2000 LED grow light. I hope you liked this video and I hope to do more grow light review videos in the future so that you can choose the best grow light for your needs. We'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.